Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you something that's going to shock you. I'm going to tell the Washington Compost something that they know. I'm going to tell Jay Johnson, the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, what he knows. All the media know it. All the bureaucrats know it. All the leftists know it. Everyone in the administration knows it. Do you know the United States Congress couldn't shut down the Department of Homeland Security right now if it wanted to? If it wanted to! Unless it absolutely abolished the department and everyone in it. Because under existing statutory and regulatory authority, we have what's called essential personnel. And over 80% of the personnel at the Department of Homeland Security are designated as essential. We're not even debating facts here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they're going to shut down the Department of Homeland Security. They can't. Even if they want to right now, they can't shut it down. In other words, they would have to abolish it. And they're not abolishing it. They're not abolishing the jobs. So here's the truth. The Republicans, for once, are on the right side of the American people. They're on the right side of the Constitution. They're on the right side of the statute. They're on the right side of policy. Don't buckle. Tell the American people that when the Department of Homeland Security is not funded, quote-unquote, that over 80% of the personnel there who actually work on national security, immigration, and things of that matter, remain on the job. Get the message out. Don't rely on the Washington Compost. Don't even react to the Washington Compost. Pretend it doesn't exist. Nobody reads that crap paper anymore. They line their bird cages with it. That's one big waste of a lot of trees, that phony newspaper. And that's a phony editorial. Don't the Republicans care about national security? Now that's funny. That's really funny. Look what Obama's unleashed in the Middle East. Look what Obama's unleashed on our borders. Look at Obama attacking the law enforcement in our own country. Oh, don't the Republicans care about law enforcement? And Shut up, you damn fools. You're so 1970s. Watergate was your high mark, and it also destroyed you. Nobody likes you. Nobody believes you. And this Jeff Flake and John McCain and Mark Kirk and the usual knee-jerkers. we got to demonstrate we can govern, so let's capitulate. we got to demonstrate we can govern, so let Obama walk all over us. we got to demonstrate we're bipartisan, so let Obama shred the Constitution. What a bunch of damn fools. Johnny McCain. Yellow, yellow. Johnny McCain, you out there somewhere? I'm sure he is, probably taking a taxi to one of the uh, TV studios. Oh, Lindsey Graham, the Linzer. Lindsey Goober Graham won't come on the program. <gasps> I wonder why. I thought he was a tough guy. Why won't John McCain's illegitimate son come on the program? Well, I don't know why. Anyway, nobody's shutting down the Department of Homeland Security. That's the joke. That's the joke. And everybody at the Department of Homeland Security knows it. Everybody's essential there, even though I'm sure they're not. Here, here's Ed, Dallas, Texas, the great WBAP. He's a DHS employee. How are you, sir? Mr. Levin, how are you, sir? Congratulations on the extension of your contract. I, you. I am grateful that common sense prevails in some mediums anymore. Well, I, my, I, my, uh, my, my corporate brothers have been actually wonderful. Uh, on that contract, but let's hope there's not another contract out on me, if you understand what I mean. But anyway, Ed, you're an employee at the DHS. Am I right or not? I, I, I'm an, I am an employee specifically of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, one of God the many components of the Department of Homeland Security. Yep. And I have already been designated as an essential employee, just as I was during the sequestration, shut down, quote-unquote, in October of 2013, and during my 20 years of service to the United States Army, I also saw a couple of shutdowns under Mr. Reagan, as you so uh, uh, often refer to. And we all continued to go to work because the national security cannot be shut down. So to all your listeners, you are absolutely on the money. You've got all the facts squared away. It shall continue. We won't get paid, those of us who are essential, but the paycheck will eventually come. Thank That's the point. Service. The paycheck will eventually come. By the way, thank you for your service, sir. You, you really sound like a great patriot. But it's true. 
And you know what else, Ed? There are some non-essential paper pushers. Maybe they ought to take a little time off. What do you think of that? Oh, sure. This man, I mean, I think, I, I think we're, coming, we're coming close to a number of, of, of federal service that's going to equal the Roosevelt days if you do one of those, you know, population contrast between, you know, that period of time and, and, and the current period of time. The, the Citizenship and Immigration Service uh, is expanding to accommodate all of these uh, uh, applications for this new benefit as a result of... Uh, this must frustrate uh, the hell out of you, speak. watching this. It's, it's, it's mind-boggling, sir. It's mind-boggling. All right, listen, Ed, I want to send you a copy of the Liberty Amendments. You sound like a great guy. Don't hang up. Thank you. So there you are. There's a witness to the facts that I'm stating. It's unequivocal. It's not. It, there's no debate. Over 80% of the employees at the Department of Homeland Security, mostly the employees that matter, that the government self-identifies as essential, will still be there. Ooh, we can't shut down the department. They're right. We can't shut the damn thing down no matter what. Did somebody introduce a bill to abolish DHS? No. Well, unless they introduce a bill and it passes and the president signs it, it doesn't go away. And I'm sick and tired of the lies. And I'm sick and tired of Republicans shooting themselves in the foot, repeating lies that are against their best interests. And I'm tickly sick and tired of idiots on TV and radio who repeat the same damn thing. Congress cannot shut down the Department of Homeland Security without abolishing it, which means they can't shut it down today, tomorrow, or the next day. However... They don't have to fund the unconstitutional parts of the department. And that's why the House bill is so important. And that's why the House is right to stand firm. Now, Mr. McConnell, it's your turn. Stop whining. Stop worrying about what the lowest common denominator in your caucus is saying and thinking as they run to the New York slimes and the Washington compost and political and every liberal outlet they can. Ooh, we got to show we can govern. How about you show that you really can govern? And stand with the American people and stand for the Constitution. Showing you can govern doesn't mean capitulating to Barack Obama's unconstitutional fiats. Mr. Flake, Mr. Kirk, Mr. McCain, and the other gaggle of morons. Oh, Graham, 